pictures with him? That's a real Krampus right there. That's a spooky Krampus. <laughs> You're here with Ben, and as usual, we're in Munich. Now, during the winter season, especially in Germany, it's the time to go out into the Christmas and winter markets, enjoy some Glühwein, some conversation, before eventually retiring home from the cold, blasting those radiators and warming up, perhaps with more Glühwein in a blanket. It's such a cozy time of year all around, yeah? But there won't be any sweet holiday vibes in this video, as we're heading out to the spookiest event of the season, the Krampuslauf. I'd love to tell you more about it, but right now, I have to get to Marienplatz to stake out a good spot before the demons arrive. So what is a Krampus? Why is it laughing? And how come I've gone into Marienplatz to see them? These are great questions, so let's tackle them in order. Number one, a Krampus is a half-goat, half-demon figure from Central European folklore, most notably in Bavaria and other Alpine cultures. And though you might not know of him, you've definitely heard of his best friend, Saint Nicholas. Those two bros are tight and always travel together. As it goes, the Saint Nicholas figure rewards good children with presents, something most people are familiar with. However, Krampus, well, he brings home the punishment for the naughty children. Saint Nick is gonna have to check his list a few more times than twice because unlike a modern lump of coal as punishment, Krampus don't play. Instead, he might beat you with a stick, drown you, eat you alive, and if that isn't enough, then he'll transport you in his sack down to hell. It's a great bit of classically Germanic, child-friendly folklore. Number two, a lauf, or run in English, in this context meaning a parade, is when Saint Nicholas will march through your town with Krampus in tow. Alpine towns typically host their lauf every December, featuring hundreds of men dressed up in horror horrifying homemade Krampus costumes. An interesting distinction, however, arises between a Krampus Lauf and the Krampus Nacht. Laufs, being organized parades, are usually pretty tame. You need to be more afraid of the crowds than the demons, that's for sure. If you catch their eyes, perhaps you'll lose a hat, get a jump scare, or worst case scenario, get dragged into the middle of the parade and get a light tussle. Nothing too crazy, all things considered. A Krampus Nacht, however, is a different kettle, where Krampuses roam the streets at night looking for people to beat up, usually stalking the alleyways near churches and Christmas markets. And by beat up, I do mean beat up. <laughs> These Krampuses are packing wooden sticks and will not be afraid to give you a welt on your legs or bruises on your hands if they catch you. It gives the whole city a scary vibe, with brave tweens squealing their heads off and running into traffic and adults keeping themselves in packs. And so that's why, number three, we've come to the 2019 Munich Krampuslauf, as raising your camera during a small town's Krampusnacht is not my cup of tea and would draw far too much attention. The Marienplatz parade will feature about 25 different Krampus groups. It's gonna last for about an hour and a half, and if you can get a spot, it's entirely free. The clubs hail from all over Bavaria and together create similarly themed Krampus costumes. Some more like fluffy beasts while others choose an undead warrior aesthetic. Word on the street is that these costumes can cost anywhere between 15 to 2,500 euros using authentic hides and horns no less. You can see the attention to detail shining through as each group struts down the high street, displaying their horns, skins, bells, chains and switches with pride. For extra entertainment, bring your children and push them to the front as I've seen so many German and parents do, tempting the Krampus to take their little ones. Enjoy the rest of the B-roll and I'll see you in the conclusion.
Hey everybody, we're back at home after the 2019 Munich Krampus Lauf. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the difference between a Krampus Nacht and a Krampus Lauf. If you remember earlier in the video, we sort of talked about that. Because when I originally wrote the script, I didn't know what a Krampus Nacht was. I'd only written about a Krampus Lauf. Coincidentally, a couple days before the Krampus Lauf here in Munich, we were out in Fusen with some friends from the United States who were visiting, and we sort of stumbled across a Krampus Nacht and learned quickly what that was. So what, what encouraged you to help me rewrite the script to include the Lauf and the Nacht? We rewrote the script because my friend ended up with welts on the back of his legs <laughs> and like a bruised hand. Um, because we just re we really didn't know. I'd never heard of it before. Uh, you know, as you've seen with the parades, the crowds are a bit pushy, but overall, like, the Krampuses are really tame. Like, maybe they'll steal your hat or, like, jostle you about, but, like, it's tame. And so we'd gone down to Fusen to go check some stuff out and do a lot of our other videos, uh, like the one in Edinburgh, you should watch it. And while we were going through there, we went around five o'clock and they were having their parade. I was like, wow, how lucky that we're here. We didn't plan it. We just showed up and it was going on. It was awesome. We got, you know, touched with some brooms, nothing crazy. And then later that night, we went out for dinner around eight o'clock. The streets were bare. There was like nobody really around. And then there were these really scary campuses just like stalking. And we're like, oh, they're out. They must have just finished their parade. How cool. And because we had no fear, because we didn't know we needed to be, they just walked right on up to us. And we stood in their way like, oh, yes, come up to us, which you shouldn't do. You should not do, because right as the scary Krampus walked up to our friend, right back, hits him. And then as he turns around, gets him on the legs. He, he was beaten up a little bit. And so we all ran. I was like, get out of here, I don't want to be anywhere near that. And then we start hearing like squeals from like down and it turns out that this is a thing that they do. We saw some teenagers like run out into the road and I was like, oh, those teenagers, they're just squealing and being stupid. No, nah, they, they were just afraid <laughs> as, were, as were a lot of people. People were crowded into the churches and the Christmas markets. So I just think it's an interesting distinction because often we really recommend, you know, don't just do the one in Munich, go out into the small towns and see their little festivals like what we did with uh, the Mittenwald Almabtrieb and stuff like that. But in this case, uh, you do have to be careful and know what you're getting into because they're, they're a bit different, a little less tame. Yeah. So if you're not quite brave enough to go out into these smaller towns and do the, um, the Compass Knox, or maybe you don't have time to or not enough money to go out, it's really great to just see the one in Munich because one, like you said, it's very tame and very safe. But you get to see a representation of all the Krampuses from all over Bavaria. And, real, and it makes you realize that they actually, there's a lot of diversity in, mm -hmm. in the way that the people interpret what the Krampus monster actually looks like, which is pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's interesting seeing all the different outfits. Though if you are brave and you do want to check out the Krampus Nacht, that is a weird vibe that night. Uh, that's super, I've never walked around a city being like, oh, I'm actually scared right now. Uh, so it's super cool. You might want to check it out. Yeah, so uh, with that being said, please like and subscribe. We're a new channel and it really helps out. Yeah, and then uh, do subscribe to check out the videos that we've got coming out on the Christmas markets. We've got a few more. If you haven't seen our big Munich Christmas market video, you should check that one out. We're going to do a locals only market a little bit later on. And then also I've got a small video kind of like this one that's just going to be about one of the steam locomotives that take you around the city. So we've got some good content coming up soon. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.